The ureter, a narrow muscular tube that carries urine from kidney to bladder. Let's quickly explore its anatomy and clinical points. The ureter is a narrow, thick-walled, expansile muscular tube, which conveys urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. The urine is propelled from the kidney to the urinary bladder by the peristaltic contractions of the smooth muscle of the wall of the ureter. Measurements, length, 25 centimeters or 10 inches. Diameter, three millimeters. Course. The ureter begins as a downward continuation of a funnel-shaped renal pelvis at the medial margin of the lower end of the kidney. The ureter passes downward and slight medially on the psoas major, which separates it from the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae and enters the pelvic cavity by crossing in front of the bifurcation of the common iliac artery at the pelvic brim in front of the sacroiliac joint. In the pelvis, the ureter first runs downward, backward, and laterally along the anterior margin of the greater sciatic notch. Opposite to the ischial spine, it turns forward and medially to reach the base of the urinary bladder, where it enters the bladder wall obliquely. Within the bladder wall, it narrows down, takes a sinuous course, and opens into the cavity of the bladder. At the lateral angle of its trigon, as ureteric orifice. Parts and relations. The ureter is generally divided into two parts, abdominal and pelvic. Each part is about the same length, that is 12.5 centimeters or five inches. The abdominal part of ureter extends from the renal pelvis to the bifurcation of the common iliac artery. The pelvic part of the ureter extends from the pelvic brim at the level of bifurcation of the common iliac artery to the base of the urinary bladder. Sites of anatomical narrowings or constrictions, the lumen of the ureter is not uniform throughout and presents three constrictions at the following sites. At the pelvi-ureteric junction, where the renal pelvis joins the upper end of ureter, it is the uppermost constriction, found approximately five centimeters away from the hilum of kidney. At the pelvic brim, where it crosses the common iliac artery. At the uretero-vesical junction, that is where ureter enters into the bladder. Portions of the ureter between these constrictions show spindle-shaped dilatations. These constricted segments of the ureter are the sites of arrest of ureteric calculi, arterial supply. The ureter derives its arterial supply from the branches of all the arteries related to it. The important arteries supplying ureter from above downward are renal, testicular, or ovarian, direct branches from aorta, internal iliac, vesicle, superior and inferior, middle rectal, uterine, venous drainage. The venous blood from the ureter is drained into the veins corresponding to the arteries. Lymphatic drainage. The lymph from the ureter is drained into lateral aortic and iliac nodes. Nerve supply. The sympathetic supply of the ureter is derived from T12 to L1 spinal segments through renal, aortic, and hypogastric plexuses. 
the parasympathetic supply of ureter is derived from S2 to S4 spinal segments through pelvic splanchnic nerves. The afferent fibers travel with both sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves. Clinical anatomy, injury to ureters. According to Kenson and Hinman, the ureter may be injured at one of the following four dangerous sites. Point where the ureter crosses the iliac vessels. In the ovarian fossa, where the ureter is crossed by the uterine artery. Most dangerous site, as damage is likely at this site during hysterectomy. At the base of the bladder, ureteric calculus is likely to lodge at one of the sites of anatomical narrowings of the ureter, particularly at the pelvic ureteric junction, where it crosses the pelvic brim in the intramural part, the narrowest part. That's the ureter in a nutshell. Like, share, and subscribe for more quick medical lessons.